Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me. Today I get to share with you a project for Gerda Steiner Designs using the Chicken Scratch stamp set and it is super punny. Um, I love the little chickens in here. Their expressions are so funny. Um, there's five chickens in total and then there's one little nest with the egg in it and then there's also a little piggy. Um, fun sentiments and so for today's card I thought we would create a card with three of the adorable chickens here. So I'm going to stamp these on some Nina 80 pound cardstock and I'm using my Memento ink. We're going to color in our little chickies with Copic markers. For today's video I did leave the coloring in and so I left the caps out and then I also listed the colors up in the left for you guys in case you want to know the colors that I used. But I'm going to stamp this bowing fence here and I I wanted to squeeze the piggy in there to have him sitting on that bowing fence but it just didn't work out that well so we're stuck with three fun chickens so I'm gonna play a little music while I color and when I'm done coloring I will get you back Okay, coloring is all done, and I did decide to color them all basically the same color. Um, and then to add a little bit of detail, you see me dotting those little dots on the chicken. I think this looks a little bit more like feathers. But I just fussy cut them out. I'm going to give you a close-up. I'm going to try to without my camera getting blurry. But I think they're so fun. I love the little eyes. Oh, gosh. And I love the tushy on the little, the little chicken. Okay, now I have a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half inch card panel and I'm going to die cut out a window on the inside of it. I'm using double stitch rectangle dies so this is going to give me a stitch line along the inside. Um, I wanted to create a frame and the inside of the window measures three and three quarter inches by two and a half inches. And I'm taking one size larger die and placing it on the outside and then I'm replacing my um, original stitch die in the center. I want to do some embossing with my stitched rectangle dies. So I'm going to use my embossing pad and just run that through my die cut machine. And when I did run it through, the stitch lines um, kind of cut through my paper a little bit, but I don't think it was too noticeable. So I think once I added foam tape behind there, it would, it would be okay. Next, I'm taking a cloud die and taking a piece of white cardstock, and I'm going to die cut out a cloud a cloud, <laughs> a cloud on the very top of this panel. Um, I wanted to slide it on the inside and then over the frame just for something a little bit different. Once I did that I did mark it with my pencil where the frame is because we're going to add a little bit more fence to our background. This time we're going to do it um, vertically so I'm, I'm flip-flopping them too. So this is I flipped it upside down and then I'm going to flip it upside down one more time and then do one more. Um, I wanted long posts 
for my little fence just to show the versatility in the stamp set. So I am coloring in my fence here with the same markers that I used for um, my first fence that I fussy cut out. And I got in a little bit of a hurry, so I made it a little messy. So I'm just cleaning them up with my, um, my white gel pen. Okay, for a background, I want to add a little color. So I'm using some Distress Oxide. This is Tumble Glass. And just using my blending tool, I'm going to do a little bit of shading. And after I did that, I thought, oh, oh goodness, I need to erase my pencil marks and um, before I add any more oxide because I don't want them to show through. And if you add oxide over your pencil marks, it's very, very hard to get off. Um, so you could still see them. But I was hoping my frame would, would fix that. But after I have my little blue skin, cloudy sky. I'm going to go over the bottom and blend them both together um, using peeled paint just so it looks like there's a little grassy area in the background. And then um, I just was afraid about those pencil marks so I'm going to use my sand eraser and I'm going to scrub that paper until I can't see my pencil marks no more. And it, it worked out. I think I damaged the paper just a little bit, but I, I don't think it's too noticeable. But I'm going to trim off the bottom. And you can see here I tuck the clouds on the inside of my frame overlapping on the very top. I think that creates a real fun effect. And then you have those little holes peeking out. Okay. Now I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Now there's quite a few fun sentiments in the stamp set, but I wanted to use the PS. This card was made from scratch. Um, being a chicken owner, I know all about scratch. Um, our goat actually eats it. <laughs> and so um, I didn't want the PS on there. I think um, if you were to put it on the inside of the card, it would. I wouldn't have to remove the PS. But I just inked up that this card was made from scratch. So now I am arranging my little scene. And I wanted to stamp the hay up in the cloudy area. And I'm using VersaFine to stamp both of my sentiments. Okay, we're going to take these guys off and then we're going to flip our panel over and I'm going to add some foam tape, making sure it's lined up. I'll just take my foam tape and cover that entire back panel. This panel is not going to have too much dimension. Um, I'm going to add foam tape behind my little chickies and also um, my little fence there. And I think that's going to have enough dimension for me. <laughs> okay, I just taped down my panel to my card base, which is a standard size card base. Now I want to flip over my images and add foam tape behind here. Now I did one layer to two of the chickies on the left and right, and then also my fence. Um, but the middle chickie here with this little tushy hanging out, <laughs> I wanted him to stand out. So I put two, um, I doubled up on the foam tape so he stands out a little bit more. Now, to give my little bit more texture to my background, I'm going in with some Nouveau Crystal Drops. These are Duck Egg Blue, and I'm, it's a very soft pale blue, and I'm just adding a few dots in my background here. Okay, now I was looking at that green area on the bottom, and I thought we need to add some chicken scratch on the very bottom. And again, since I own some chickens, I thought, it would go really well on the bottom. So I'm just using some warm grays and I did bring in a brown marker and then um, just adding little dotted areas in that background there. I also am um, going to bring in my blender pen and kind of fade them out just a little bit. And then that finishes off my card for today, guys. I think it turned out super cute. I love the expressions on these little guys. If you're interested in the stamp set, I'll link it down below. This is this is a brand new stamp set to the Gerda Steiner shop. Um, super fun, super cute, and the piggy is adorable also. But I thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a fantastic day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.